Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today I saw a request back on my fairy tutorial and I realized I don't have a proper video on how to draw her anymore. Uh, it's Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. Go ahead and draw Tinkerbell today. Now this is going to be a fun pose because she's got her little wand out and you could put it next to people's names or put her next over something just to make her look a little bit more magical. Let's go ahead and lay out her body before we go ahead and start filling in the detail. Let's draw her face and head first. So I'm going to bring out a basic face structure. So after my face structure, I'm going to go ahead and bring down one side of her neck going inwards and then the other side going inwards. And then I'm going to make her shoulders, but I'm going to draw a line that's going up and curved. After the line is curved, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right here and bring this inward. So bring this inward and then make her belly and I'm going to circle off one shoulder here and then I'm going to also circle another shoulder building off of over here. Jump behind this shoulder, bring down her back. So we bring down her back and then I'm going to go behind there, round it down and curve inward like this. And I'm going to bring down this whole entire, whole entire part right here, bring this down. And then I'm just going to leave that for right now. Now I'm going to jump back up to her arms. So I'm going to start with the left shoulder first. And this is going to go down just a little bit more and then you're going to build up another circle off to the side over here. After that, you're going to jump back here and make another circle building up off of the shoulder there. And then let's make one hand here and then the other hand will be going downwards like this. Okay, so let's jump in a little bit closer and fill in some details. Let's start with her face first. What we're going to do is I'm going to make my guideline for the middle of her face and then her eye lines. So I'm going to start with her eyes first where we'll shape up her face a little bit more later on. But I'm going to make one eye getting a little bit close to the nose ridge. Bring that up there. And then I'm going to jump off to the side, make this arch again, and then bring down the bottom part of her eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and make her nose for right now. So I'm just going to go down just a little bit on the side of her nose. And she does have a nose ridge, but it's not exactly touching her eye. So I'm going to make a circle a little bit close to the left eye. So I'll make this circle and then I'll go up and curve the nose ridge. After that, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the side of her nose and then give her a nostril. So the nose ridge should be going up and into her eyebrow. So I'm going to give one eyebrow here and they're very simple. They're just basically two lines. So I've got a line here and then a line right here. Same level as the other eyebrow. And then I'm going to curve. I'm going to make an eye pupil iris area here. And then I'm going to make a pupil iris here. Right here. I'm going to make one shine and then the pupil. And then I'm going to jump on top of her eye give her a thick eyelash line, curve outwards with two, three little eyelashes. I'm going to jump over here, I'm going to make the shine of her eye there, and then I'm going to make the pupil, and I'm going to make her eyelashes go outwards away from her face. 
What I'd like to do next is shape up her face a little bit more. So her forehead is gonna go outwards just a little bit alongside of her eye. And then we're gonna bring out her cheek. Curve in towards her chin. So bring out cheek, curve towards her chin. And go up. And then we can give her her lips because we have enough room for her lips now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make underneath her nose we're gonna make it the dip in her lip, one side of her lips, the other side, and then circle around, and then we're gonna jump down here, bring down the bottom part. So I go just inwards a little bit, bring down the bottom part. Curve the butt, make the bottom lip a little bit more thicker, and I'm gonna leave this gap because she is smiling. I'm gonna make this side just a little bit more thicker, her top lip by bringing up. Go. Then on the same line as her her eye, I'm gonna make her ear so it's gonna go up and curve down. And then I'm going to make her eyelids above her eyelashes. So we have one eye eyelid here and another eyelid right here. So now let's focus on her hair. I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna go to a point behind her ear. Go to a point, up, and then bring down the side. So we're gonna go down curved inwards and then we're gonna have a section of hair and it's gonna go right into her forehead. In here and give another little section going into her forehead in the middle and it's gonna go up and then curve this one down across her ear so this is like the side part of her ponytail going down. And then this part will go inwards. And I'm gonna bring down this side. Bring down this side. Bring up, bring this one in. A little section here, and then a little part right here going up and in. And then I'm gonna just bring this one onto the side. Then after that, at the very top, you're going to make just a regular ball. But let's go ahead and define the, her hair a little bit more, her little bun. So I'm gonna jump in the middle, give a couple of lines right there, and then you make a couple of lines on the side. And then you can go off to the side and make one little ribbon here, and then another little ribbon here. And a little, little ribbon here and here. Underneath her chin, we're gonna bring out that neck just a little bit more to where it's underneath. Bring that one down and then bring this one down a little bit more. And then let's start with bringing this shoulder in front of that neckline. And then we'll make another line going into her shoulder right here. Here, make this line go down. A line here bring out her chest so it goes in and then you bring this one in and then I'm gonna jump back up here and we're gonna start from this line of her chest you're gonna go in and then up And then down. Into her back. So you're gonna bring down this top of her shoulder a little bit more and this is going to fluently go into her wrist. So 
so that should all connect together. For this hand, it's going to go down. So we're going to make the thumb and then we're going to keep these fingers together. One pointer finger going down, another finger, and then the other finger. And then we're going to bring out her pinky finger. So her pointer finger should be the one that see, is being seen the most and her other finger should line up along the side. And then her thumb should be, there should be like a little gap and her thumb should be going outwards just a little bit. She's just lightly gripping onto something which is her magic wand. So I'm just gonna make a stick. This one should be rounded up. And then bring, we're gonna make this a little bit longer. And then her hand should be going up. Finger should be going backwards. And then underneath, bring out the thumb. And then I'm gonna go up, make her pointer finger. And then these should be kind of tucked in the back. So one should be going this way, this way. And then the pinky finger should be going up. So these two are bent in the middle. Pointer finger and then they're bent in the middle. So her neck should be going into her back and then her back should be going in. Then let's go ahead and go underneath her stomach and we're going to make a leaf here, a leaf here, a leaf here, a leaf going out this way, and then a leaf going out this way, and then let's go back behind here, bring out this leaf and go down into the other leaf. So I'm gonna go underneath this leaf and then make a line. All right, so let's start with this one. We're going to go, I'm actually gonna go back behind here, behind this leaf, and I'm just gonna draw through this one and go into that first line we made. Round it out, round out her calf. and start to go inwards. Now from this one we made right here, we're going to keep this significantly the same. So it's just going to divide it. And then we have one leg so far, and then I'm gonna jump behind this leg, bring down this one, go outwards, And then I'm going to make one circle here and then another circle building up off the side here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off to the side of this circle, bring out her heel and then make her first shoe. And it's pretty simple. There's one shoe and then you're just going to jump over here underneath round this off and go back in and there's the other shoe pretty simple so if we clear up the guidelines on her legs you can see how we made those her legs are completely together and we can add just like a little line for her kneecap here and a little line for her kneecap on this side most importantly Tinkerbell needs her wings so I'm just going to jump back here behind her neck and make the first wing where it's going to go up. It's going to go up towards the top of my paper then get a little bit skinny and go right back into that imaginary spot on her back 
and then I'm gonna jump, go through underneath where I just made her back. You see, if I were to put a line right here, this is where her back would be on her shoulder. So from there, I'm gonna go up, and curve down into her back, and then I'm gonna jump on the side of this side of her back, and I'm just gonna draw through her hair this down and this one will be going out this way this one's more curved out going this way and this one will be curving down and that would just be all that we see of that side and curve that there so if we get rid of those guidelines that we just made on her arm and through her hair and there you go, there's a fun, easy way on how to make Tinkerbell. So you could do something like little pixie dust here and just add it up and just make it look all magical looking. Whatever you decide. You could put someone's name here, you could put something underneath. I mean, you could just like, I don't know, here's my lens cap. You could do something like that and take a picture with it. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun quick tutorial on how to doodle little Tinkerbell and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!